Hey my beautiful friends, thank you so much for tuning in. So in this video I'm going to talk about our science curriculum for the year 2018-2019, what we did and um, how it worked out for us. So the first thing I want to start talking about is what we started with. So this year we started with um, Mystery Science which is an online curriculum or online classes for science. Um, I had gotten the opportunity to um, get some free classes as I joined as a like a part-time member. Uh, so I had access to um, like half of the classes and I was we really enjoyed it last year when we did it for Jail's third grade and Jonah's kindergarten and this year we enjoyed a lot of the lessons as well uh, that we did for um, the grades first and fourth grade and we love it so much so one of the videos that you'll see from me soon is a do a lesson with us so you guys can see how they taught um, how does it work um, and how easy and simple and I just love the creativity when it comes to uh, the hands-on projects a lot of the stuff that they do is out of regular paper and it's just amazing so we really enjoyed uh, mystery science we kept mystery science um, notebooks um, and a lot of the histories that we did this year didn't have printouts to keep in the notebook but we the ones that we do have here are kept and I like to log them and so forth so mystery science is something that we did this year we also did and started with the good and the beautiful uh, we started with the good and the beautiful the good and the beautiful kingdoms and classification um, in the website they recommend to start with that one before any other biology unit so we started it was great in the beginning because we were all fired up um, and we love learning anything about animals and stuff but it was a little bit too much um, language for my first grader and I love doing science with both of them fourth and first so it was hard for me to engage my first grader um, the vocabulary was very heavy yeah. for him <laughs> there was JJ so we uh, started with the kingdom in classifications and again I had to stop it because Jonah was just not uh, engaged and it was something that I wanted to do with both of them it was the only time in the day that I could do with both of them so I went back to doing Mr. Science and we also were doing the Passport to Adventures curriculum which I've talked a ton here in my channel so I'll link it down below just in case you uh, never heard of it or me talking about it um, but um, Passport to Adventures is based on the Magic Treehouse books and there was science in there too with some of the books so we did some science from there too and then we switched from kingdoms and classifications to doing the water unit and we did a couple of lessons of the water unit and again the water unit was great but it was one of those units that has a lot of prep involved um if you're not prepared with the stuff ahead of time it's not gonna happen and that's me i was not prepared with the, the materials ahead of time and it was just not happening so i said okay again i'm gonna stop this one and I'm just going to go into the bug one. I should have done the bug one first, which is the arthropod unit, because it has the less prep. It's one of the most, uh, in my opinion, that one that has the less prep. And my kids love bugs, so they're already engaged just from the word bugs. <laughs> so um, we're doing that one now. And um, again, because we did so much science between mystery science and the um units from the passport to adventures i didn't feel bad stopping those units we learned uh, the lessons that we did we learned uh about the water i really do like the water one so i will continue doing that one next year and be prepared um so right now we're doing the bug unit and um, we're having so much fun um and um it's something that i really enjoy so there's tons of mamas here with curriculum reviews on the good and the beautiful science units so if you do want to see anything from me let me know in the comments down below but seriously you guys some of the mamas are way ahead of me with these uh, curriculum reviews so um, yeah do check um, some mamas out there that have already some of these uh, uh, reviews out but I did want to do the mystery science because it's something that I don't see talked much here on the um, YouTube world at least in my little uh, subscriber people or the people that I have subscribed to the mamas so I do want to do that one for you guys so I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough uh, for you guys and I do want to do the next video which is a lesson with us so stay tuned for that one if you haven't subscribed please subscribe so you can catch on that uh, video um, so yeah let me just walk you through my computer real quick what is it about okay so you guys I'm already logged in here it's called mystery science uh, so you get to log in here um, it's very simple. It's $69 a year 
for all the lessons and the lessons are broken down by ages and by categories or themes um, so we have done a few of them the ones that you see marked down um, like taught are lessons that we have done and this is something new that they came up with this year so I know that this is a um, a growing company they're constantly renovating their um, their lessons and doing new lessons and adding new lessons and so forth one of the things that I like is that they do theme lessons so this is the spring theme lessons here let me just see if I can get a better okay that's okay so these are the lessons for spring sorry about the camera so how do the flowers bloom in the spring you have an exploration which is five minutes and the activities which are about 25 minutes this is such a great uh, class. I already want to do it with my kids, especially because of Mother's Day coming up. Um, and they do send you emails to remind you, you know, to do these spring classes, which is great. Um, this one is how do plants and trees grow. So you would click on it. Let me just click on one of them so you can see. Okay. So how do plants and um, trees grow? There's a whole bunch of lessons on that one alone. Okay. And... Some of these I think I taught last year, but it will be great to do them again. So let's go into why do woodpeckers peck wood? <laughs> and a lot of these questions come from ch children our ages between, you know, they could be 6, 7, 8, 10, 11. It's, the question here it says ask anything. You send them a question and they actually put a lesson together to answer your questions, which is so sweet. So this one says, why do woodpeckers uh, peck wood? And then the exploration will be 20 minutes, the activity, eat like an animal, which is 20 minutes. And it tells you ahead of time to view the activity supplies. So I'm going to click on that. So they're going to do these movements. Um, and they need spending a space. So it's really, really fun and simple for them. Um, and then there's extra activities. And the lesson. So you will start the mystery. And it's just one. Um, his name is Doug. And he's the one teaching the classes. Let me just have you see real quick here. Hi, it's Doug. One of my most favorite things to do is to walk through a forest. Have you ever been in a forest? It's a place that's full of trees. It's just tree after tree after tree. Now, the trees themselves are fun. Some people build forts around them or even tree houses. But there's something else that's great about a forest. Okay, I'm going to stop it there. But you get the idea. His voice alone is very engaging. My kids love it. He's... um very thorough he speaks their language and all the pictures are so engaging the lessons are easy to understand again they're geared towards their age so if i go back here you're gonna see ages this is plants and animals here ages five and six weather and wa weather watching ages five and six uh force olympics for five and six and so forth this will be five and eight plant animals and superpowers Spinning Sky, and these are 7 to 10, 6 to 9. They're all here, these classes. A lot of them, let me go here, Animals to Time. A lot of them, the the um, printouts are paper, and they the way they use the paper to bring forth the class is so clever. Let me see. If, uh, so this is one paper that you would have to print. So see, it's really, this is the, what habitat was uh, here. So this is something that they have to come together and answer what habitat was here and this is it this will be the mystery this will be the activity for them they love it and let's see there's an answer key as well just so you know your answers and then the materials are told are told to you there pencil and paper this one was a very easy one to put together then there's others let me see if i can get another one um, let me go here and see view activities and supplies. This one says print out the instructions and tracks for making the raceway. So this is something again that you print out and this is something they have to do on the floor. So you need tape. They tell you what you need. Uh, they give you the print, the footprints It's such a clever way of teaching the classes and it puts a letter less work on the mom and it's so easy you guys. So I love it. So it tells you here. What the students will need, you need a copy of the two-page handout, a pencil and paper ruler, and uh, straight edge or, or or straight edge. That's pretty much it. Again, that's the handout. This is another one that they need to print out, and it tells them step by step how to interpret all these printouts and to do it together. 
they do it together. So the kids get to do all the activities, the printouts with the uh, computer um, help. Nothing is too hard. Nothing is uh, outside of my beliefs because I know that when you're a Christian, um, some of our beliefs um, don't um, go with some of the science curriculums that are out there right now. I have had no problems with none of the classes. There's no um, theological um like offense or I don't know how to say it or they're off theologically for me it's just plain and simple um straightforward science so I love it you guys I totally recommend this they just did a sale I wish I would have done this video sooner at least throughout the sale but if you think about it $69 a year for a growing uh classes they're constantly adding classes um and for something that's taught for you you don't have to teach it's done for you you just have to print out make sure you're ready it's a, a steal. It's like perfect. So I totally recommend this, you guys. Um, again, just watch out for that teach with me or have a lesson with me video. It's coming soon. So you guys can see us do a lesson um, and you can pretty much see how it works out. But thank you so much for watching, you guys. Again, thank you. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.